So, liebe Leute von heute, herzlich willkommen zurück hier bei Honkai Star Rail für die Playstation 5, wo wir nun in diesem Part endlich nach Monaten die Begleitmission von Clara beenden werden. Wenn wir natürlich jetzt erstmal wieder mal sehen, wo denn jetzt die Begleitquest jetzt war. Ah ja, hier, seltene Zuneigung Teil 2 wird endlich in Angriff genommen. Hm? Der kleine Bursch, den wir vor einer Zeit aufgearbeitet haben, ist jetzt repariert. Komm mal vorbei, wenn du Zeit hast. Okay, bin gleich da. Ich warte bei Herrn Zwarok auf dich. Ja, seltene Zuneigung Teil 2. Möge dann jetzt beginnen. Möge dann jetzt beginnen. Eine Quest, bei der es ja um einen ja, Roboter mit Gefühlen ging. Hm? Na, ist nun erst wirklich auch ein bisschen blöd, dass ich jetzt ja sagt, ja, die Quest erst seit erst nach ein paar Monaten jetzt beenden werde, aber. Ja, trotzdem hab nicht dran gedacht. Sorry. You, Pascal, very like Clara. Also entweder heißt der Besitzer des Roboters Pascal oder der Roboter selbst heißt pa Pascal. <lacht> Good boy, Pascal. Based on the information gathered, it is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network so that he doesn't threaten the property or safety of the camp's residents. I know this is the most sensible option, but Pascal... Hey, wie laufen die Reparaturen? Welcome, Outsider. Thanks to Clara's hard work, the repairs were completed successfully. Yes, the little fella is alive and well again. It's just that some parts aren't completely back to normal yet. Tja, was genau ist an Pascal nicht so ganz normal? Well, how should I put it? You, Pascal, good. I am called Name. Okay, sagen wir mal eher, er hat ein eigenes Bewusstsein. Hm? Oh, look, Pascal is greeting you. It's just, his speech is still a little confusing. The examination conducted earlier revealed that the information stored in this robot's core module is incompatible with the new hardware. Furthermore, many defective networks were detected in the core module. A significant amount of muddled information with unknown content was discovered during a deep scan. Simply put, Pascal's brain is filled with junk information of unknown origin. This junk, along with hardware that's incompatible with his core, caused him to lose his ability to communicate. Fortunately, apart from the language module, Pascal is still functioning properly. However, the robot still has a 44.7% chance of malfunctioning. It's recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. Mr. Svarog, I understand, but I think Pascal is different. He possesses a quality that other small robots don't have. Ein eigenes Bewusstsein und Gefühle. In some ways, I believe he's similar to Mr. Svarog. I can't overlook this unique quality. Mr. Svarog, could you give me a little more time? I want to investigate this further. If we don't find anything, you can integrate Pascal into the network. Understood, Clara. I respect your wish. In the meantime, I'll make sure that this robot doesn't endanger other people or property. Tja, also, was sollen wir jetzt machen? I'd like to recap what I discussed with Mr. Svarag earlier. Let's begin by doing exactly what we did before. Find a new shell, put Pascal's core in it, and see if the hardware is compatible. According to the analysis, Pascal's original hardware was a direwolf or grizzly model. If we can put its core into the appropriate shell, 
there's an 87.3% chance that its language module will return to normal. There are all kinds of abandoned robots in the machine graveyard. Let's go take a look. Gut, seltene Zuneigung Teil 2. Und sie muss jetzt ausgerechnet mit diesen Robotern kommen, mit diesen Automatons, die uns, äh, sag schon, mehr als einmal ordentlich zugesetzt haben. Der Grizzly und der, sagt der Düsterwolf. Wenn ich mich eingerichtet sind, müsste der Düsterwolf eigentlich ja wirklich der Kettensäge, Heini, sein. Hm. Ja, mit hoher Wahrscheinlichkeit war das der Kettensägen, Heini. Gegen den Grizzly haben wir jetzt, ja, sag schon, ein paar Mal ja gekämpft. Etliche Male. Und dann, oh ja, ist, ist das jetzt, ja, sag ein Grizzly oder ist das? Es ist das gleiche Ort. Überall, wo du schaust, gibt es Robots, die die Möglichkeit zu funktionieren verloren haben. Oh, es ist der Kettensägen, Heini. Hey, Kafka. Can I go off script this time? Mach das. Hey, Big Brother, take a look over there. Does that hurt? Ja, erstmal muss ich mich um den stören, Peter, komm an. I have something for you. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. The hu This is an automaton dialogue, but it appears to have been modified. It's most likely another abandoned robot pet. Although it doesn't seem to be functioning, you should still be cautious when approaching it. Ich weiß. Oh no, it's still active. Watch out. Also damit haben wir gerechnet. Sein Sprachmodul ist aber beim besten Willen nicht gerade das Beste. Das Sprachmodul ist wirklich, er sagt nicht immer das Beste. Aber unterschätzen darf man den, er sagt trotzdem nicht. Dafür hat er uns viel zu häufig das Leben schwer gemacht. Say bye to breathe. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Barely felt it. I have something for you. You won't get away. You took the bait. Stand still. Also jetzt ist er wieder mal ein bisschen übertreiben. Time for a plan. <lacht> Time for an overhaul. Naughty child. Hm. Much obliged. Didn't hurt. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Relax. This combat me. This is double speed. Stand still. Perhaps you humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. An unknown exception. That's better. But thanks. <laughs> You're just a little bit in. Thank you. Much obliged. Uh. 
can I have fun this time? Time for a fun. <laughs> May as well kill them all. <laughs> Drag the shelf back. Oh, überlass das mir. Du sollst eine Pause machen. It's okay. I'm strong too. I'll tuck the corn a little tighter so it doesn't fall out. Du nimmst den Kern auch mit? Judging from how active the robot was, its core isn't just scrap metal. It should be repairable. I can't let any robot go to waste if it can be repaired. So, I'm going to try to fix them all. Okay, ich verstehe. Thank you for understanding me. Null Problemo. Although, I have a large safe full of core modules that I've gathered around the underworld. Every day, I try to figure out how to repair some of them and return the robots to normal. Except, there are a lot more than Mr. Sparg and I can handle on our own. But, I'm sure I can fix them all one day. We can't relax yet. We must work harder. Du hast ein gutes Herz, Clara. Thank you. It makes me happy to hear that. Ah, I was talking so much that I totally lost track of time. Let's head back. Otherwise, Mr. Svarog and Pascal will get worried. Gut, wir haben also jetzt das richtige Robotergehäuse. Mr. Sparog, we're back. Welcome back. Return. Clara. Ribbit. Fail. You're... Welcome back, Clara. I've completed my further analysis of this robot. Was hast du herausgefunden? Conclusion. It is impossible to determine the time of manufacture, purpose, and ownership of this robot. During my analysis, I extracted the robot's serial number and searched for it in the Underworld's automaton database. According to my search, there are 32 automatons with the same serial number as this one. Even after eliminating the scrapped ones, three automatons still match the keyword description. Failure. Three. Back. Rivet one. Fail. Ear. Äh, tja, lassen sich die Suchergebnisse noch weiter eingrenzen? Assessing. Assessment complete. Conclusion. Search results cannot be narrowed down any further. The three automatons that match the keyword descriptions are located in Multamerville, Rivet Town and Forge Town. All three of these mining towns have been abandoned and no automatons have been discovered in these three sites recently. It appears that the trail has gone cold yet again. Naja, nicht wirklich. Hat er ja versucht, Nietzstadt zu sagen. Der gute Pascal. Also suchen wir Nietzstadt. Tempering. Tempering. Back. Back. Back to Rivet. Fire. Fire. Pascal is becoming increasingly unstable. We should change his shell. Tja, dann mal ran an die Arbeit. Pascal, I'm going to change your shell. Don't worry, it won't hurt. Clara überträgt Pascals Kernmodul in das neue Robotergehäuse. Back, 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 back to Rivet. Rivet, Rivet. Return. Waiting. Continue. Repair. Waiting. Failure. Waiting. Still not functioning properly? What's wrong, Pascal? Watch out, Clara. Failure. 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 Pascal? No. He's running away. Clara. 
Pascal. Did he run off towards Rivet Town? Let's follow him. No, Clara. Just leave it to me. I'll order the robots to pursue this one. No, Mr. Svarog. Please, don't. Please leave Pascal to me. It was my decision to keep him in the first place, so I must take full responsibility. I'm certain Pascal won't do anything to harm anyone. But if something goes wrong... Please let me handle this myself. Please, Mr. Svarog? Tja. Lass Clara das klären. Ich bin ja auch noch da. That's right. This all started with me and can only end with me. I'm certain Pascal would never do anything to harm anyone. Clara, please tell me how you came to this conclusion. Pascal possesses a quality that other small robots lack. It's kind of similar to the emotions we humans have. I've only ever seen this quality in Mr. Svara. I feel... a warmth from these emotions. I feel drawn to this quality and try to respond back in my own way. But I'm also aware that not all emotions in this world are positive. If there are too many negative emotions that go unchecked, then someone needs to step in and stop them. The only things that can stop such negative emotions are rationality and responsibility. This is a valuable lesson I've learned from Mr. Svara. Mr. Svara, I want to help Pascal overcome those negative emotions. I want to take on this responsibility. That way, I won't have to hide behind Mr. Svara anymore. I understand, Clara. I support your decision. I won't intervene unless the situation risks spinning out of control. Thank you, Mr. Svarag. So, let's go. Gut, gehen wir. Folge dem geflohenen Pasta Pascal auf nach Nietzstadt. Also gut, er müsste eigentlich hier gleich irgendwo in der Nähe sein. Look, Pascal's over. Pascal, who did this to you? Pain, hurt, pain, hurt, pain, hurt, hurt, pain. Clara, get away. This is a fragmentum creature. It's extremely dangerous. A fragmentum creature? What are you talking about? Hmm. Das ist eindeutig ein Roboter, genau wie du. Request approved. Reanalyzing. Reanalysis complete. The original assessment stands. This is a fragmentum creature and is thus extremely dangerous. Could it have malfunctioned? It appears to be normal. Please step back. I shall eliminate this fragmentum creature. No, it's going to attack Pascal. We have to stop it. Ja, natürlich. Hostility detected. Commence elimination protocols. Oh no, it seems to think we're its enemies as well. Trickier to crack. Time for a fun. <laughs> May as well kill them all. <laughs> Good times. Aber wir haben so langsam ist sicher auch schon unsere Übung darin, gegen diese Art von Roboter zu kämpfen. Abgesehen davon ist es ja bloß ein Grizzly-Roboter der Stufe 1. Also besser gesagt der Phase 1. Kritisch würde es werden, wenn er Stufe 3 hätte. More enemies. I have something for you. You won't get away. Perhaps you humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Naughty child. That's better. Much obliged. Time for an over. Relax. Time for a 
fun. <laughs> this is double speed. Time for a shot nap time. Stand still. Time to say bye. Boom. Just a little something. Think nothing of you. Thanks. You're too good to me. You won't get away. You took the bait. Say bye to breathe. <laughs> Relax. I have something for you. May as well kill them all. So, hoffentlich erfahren wir jetzt ein paar Antworten. Phew. Luckily, the patrol robot and Pascal's cores are still intact. The big fella shell is only slightly dented. Thank you for your help. The only thing that puzzles me is why the big fella mistook Pascal for a fragmentum creature. Hmm... I can't figure it out. Well, let's not worry about that now. Anyway, I'll take this core back and examine it. Now, let's insert Pascal's core into the big fella's shell. Clara überträgt Pascal's Kernmodul in den verschrotteten Automaton Grizzly. Language module. Connect. Connecting. Connection. Complete. Testing. Verifying. All modules. Working. Connected. Welcome back, everyone. Finally. Pascal has been waiting. Pascal, you're back to normal. Hmm. Tja, frag ihn, warum er Teile gestohlen hat. Oh, I almost forgot. Thank you for reminding me. Pascal, could you please, uh, explain why you were stealing parts? Collecting parts. Returning to workshop. Workshop? Oh, do you mean the tempering workshop in Rivet Town? Been waiting. Repair. Follow, please. Pascal! Ah, uh, Pascal ran off. He went in that direction. I think he wants us to follow him. Tja, dann wollen wir noch mal sehen. Was hat denn jetzt der Sack hier zu tun? Schwache weibliche Stimme, hast du mich im Stich gelassen? Äh... I think this place used to be a restaurant. One time, I found a bunch of canned food here. <laughs> the vagrants in the camp were so happy. However, I've always wondered. The light here. Why is it still on? This place has clearly been abandoned for a long time. Also, there's dust all over the place, but none of the equipment appears to be deteriorating. Hmm. Ist es möglich, dass hier jemand lebt? I don't think so. No one should be living here. I never saw anyone when I came here to hunt for supplies. Anyway, someone must be looking after this place. But who? And why? Tja, die Antwort darauf werden wir sicherlich erfahren, wenn wir erstmal hier vorbeikommen würden. Perhaps you skew and never can see as its desire to control the heavens, an unknown exception. You took that. Stand still. <laughs> Not each other. I have some good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Ha! Relax. Can I have fun this time? Time for a fun. <laughs> 
Ja, wie das schon gesagt, riesig? erst einmal müssen wir vorbeikommen. The human body is beautiful in its fragility. I'm okay. Good times. Never time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Hier ja, sind aber auch aktuell wirklich ein paar zu viele Fragmento-Monster. Nice. Let's do it again when you're leveled up. Repairing this abandoned town? Pascal, repair, indeed. Waiting, been everyone. Hmm. Hast du die Stadt repariert? Repair, been every day. Pascal, use, can, everyone return. Pascal has been looking after the town so that everyone can go back to their previous lives when they return. Hast du deshalb Teile gestohlen? Hearts, Pascal, collect, nonstop. Rivet Town, repair, nonstop. It seems that Pascal was stealing parts because he wants to repair the town. Hast du auf uns gewartet? Waiting, everyone, Pascal, nonstop. Leave, everyone, come back, one day. Has Pascal been waiting for Rivet Town's evacuated residents to return? Warum hast du uns hergebracht? Workshop, tempering, here, peace, Pascal, secret! Parts, store, enemies, not here, place, safe, scared, no need, everybody. Ah, this appears to be the secret base where Pascal keeps the parts. Although we now know why he took them, there are still many unanswered questions. For example... Hmm... Warum wird Pascal wie eine Fragmentum-Kreatur behandelt? Right. That bigger robot said that. How strange. Hmm... I wonder if we can find any clues here. Rivet Town, live, Clara! Tour! Feel free, please. Okay, mal sehen, was er sagt, die Aufzeichnungen hier sind. Buchseiten und Briefe sind sorgsam ausgeschnitten und zur Seite gelegt. Dabei handelt es sich um alles Mögliche, angefangen von Kindermärchen bis hin zu alten Politiknachrichten. These pages are so neatly cut out. Oh, and they smell like Geomero fuel. Is there someone here in Rivet Town doing this? Or could Pascal have collected the pages and put them together? Eine gut erhaltene Kat... Kat... Warte mal, Kathodenstrahlröhre. Zwar ziemlich verstaubt, aber funktionstüchtig. This must be the result of Pascal's meticulous repairs. But the little fella doesn't really need the monitor. Does he? Hmm. Hey, those look like handprints on the side of the cabinet. Human handprints. Could this monitor have been recently used by someone? Tja, schwer zu sagen. Es könnte Sampoo gewesen sein. Hm? What's this? A diary? Wow. Such neat handwriting. No, wait a minute. I think this was printed onto the cover. Could it be Pascal's? So, die Seite zeigt ein sauber gedrucktes, nicht handschriftliches Schriftbild und scheint später eingebunden worden zu sein. Bla bla bla, Ausfall des Flug 
Werkschadenprotokolls, manuelle Aufzeichnungs manuelles Aufzeichnungsprotokoll, täglicher Rettungsfortschritt 25%, geschätzte Fertigungs Fertigstellungsdauer 2 Tage, ermittelte Anzahl für der Überlebenden 0, Niedstadt, Wache, Automaton, Online-Zählung 1, ermittelt als aktuelle Einheit, täglicher Rettungsfortschritt 75%, Geschätzte Fertigungsdauer 1 Tag. Ermittelt Anzahl der Überlebenden 0. Niedstadt, Wache, Automat und Online-Zählung 1. Ermittelt es als aktuelle Einheit. Täglicher Rettungsfortschritt 100%. Geschätzte Fertigungsdauer 0 Tage. Ermittelt Anzahl der Überlebenden 0. Möglicher Grund für den Rücktritt. Niedstadt, Wache, Automat und Online-Zählung 1. Möglicher Grund für den Online-Status. Notstrom aktiviert. Entscheidungspatrouille setzt Stadtreparatur fort. Voraussichtlich Rückkehr der Einwohner. In der Mitte scheinen ein paar Seiten herausgefallen zu sein. Okay, tägliche Reparatur. Teile Sammlung, Mission abgeschlossen. Freizeit, lese die von anderen hinterlassenen Bücher. Bücher finde ich toll. Mission abgeschlossen. Lichtschaltung wieder angeschlossen. Das Licht bleibt an. Fühle mich sicher. Lichterkette in Ruinen gefunden. Aufgehängt an der Wand eines Anwesens auf einer Anhöhe. Bunt, sehr hübsch. Letztes Buch zu Ende gelesen. Scheint ein Märchen zu sein. Welt bewahrt und auf totes Herrchen zu Hause. Ein bisschen traurig. Naja, die Geschichte kennt man ja sogar auch. Hachiko. So, von anderen, wie ich angegriffen werde. Von anderen, wie ich angegriffen, verletzt. Flucht aus der Schmiedewerkstatt. Werkstatt sicheres Wanddach. Mein Sause erleichtert. Heute fand ich zerbrochenes Glas. Repariert. Bevor alle zurückkommen. Wieder schön geliebt. Lichterketten kaputt. Andere Orte suchen. Wieder von anderen, wie mir angegriffen. Erkläre nein. Nenn mich Fragmentum-Kreatur, nicht Maschine. Warum? Täglicher Teile Sammlung abgeschlossen. Wieder von anderen wie ich angegriffen. Beinahe tödlich verletzt. Ich bin keine Maschine. Das verstehe ich nicht. Was bin ich? Kernverwirrung. Angriff von anderen wie mir häufig. Was bin ich? Kerngeräusche erzeugt. Reparaturteile Sammlung nötig. Ununterbrochene Erzeugung von Kerngeräuschen. Was bin ich? Bin ich? Verstehe ich nicht. Ich was? Brauche Teile Sammlungsreparatur. Ich sammle Teile, Teile, Kerngeräusche, Sa Teile, repariere mich. Was bin ich? Bin ich was? Bin ich, was bin ich, bin was? Warum ich? Sammle, teile, le, sam, teile. Okay, er hatte seinen Versuch auf jeden Fall sich zu reparieren. Hm, zu reparieren. Der Rest des Dokuments ist mit unverständlichen Aufzählungen gefüllt. Es besteht keine Notwendigkeit mehr weiterzulesen. Hm. Pascal. So ist das also. So that's what happened. Let me think. Hmm. How about we go over Pascal's whole story again, from the start? Okay, versuchen die ganze Geschichte zu ordnen. Sein Notstrom wurde nach dem Vorfall Nietzsche aktiviert und als er aufwachte, konnte er nur feststellen, dass Nietzsche verlassen war. Er beschloss, Teile zu sammeln, die Stadt zu reparieren und darauf zu warten, dass die Einwohner zurückkehren. Etwa zu diesem Zeitpunkt begann Pascal ein Bewusstsein zu entwickeln. Du unterbreitest Clara deine Gedanken. That is correct. So, Pascal used to be a robot guardian of Rivet Town. Pascal's backup power was activated for some reason shortly after the residents were evacuated. It woke up to discover that the whole place had been abandoned. So, it decided to collect parts, repair the town, and wait for everyone to return. However, for some reason, Pascal keeps getting attacked by his fellow robots because the automatons think he's a fragmentum creature. Tja, vielleicht hat Pascal ein Bewusstsein entwickelt. I'm not sure, but I suspect Pascal's tormented sense of self stems from him being constantly attacked by his fellow robots. The module used to detect emotions was frequently damaged, eventually turning him into a small robot that did nothing but collect parts. Vermutlich hat es sich so zugetragen. At least, that's my theory. Still, that doesn't explain why Pascal is being treated as a fragmentum creature. Pascal, why do your peers keep rejecting you? Big Brother, Clara, sure, enjoyable, is it? Pascal, collect parts, ready, continue. Or, wait, instruction, next. Pascal's consciousness does not appear to have returned to the level shown in the diary. Big Brother, Clara, Rivet Town, Resident. Pascal, protect everyone! 
everybody. I see. Thank you so much, Pascal. You can stop gathering parts for the time being. Just stay here and wait for us to return and give you your next orders, all right? Pascal, affirmative. Be good. Wait. Let's go back to Mr. Svarov and talk about what to do next. Tja, wollen wir dann noch mal sehen, was der Sack Swarok zur ganzen Sache jetzt zu sagen hat. Na, ja. Ich wollte jetzt zwar zu Anfang sagen, ah, da ist ja schon mal, schon mal jemand, der auf ihn wartet, auf uns wartet, aber es ist ja wieder Clara. Was ist das da eigentlich? So, that's what happened, Mr. Svarov. But there's one thing I don't understand. Why is Pascal being treated as a Fragmentum creature? This robot has been repairing itself using Fragmentum contaminated components for an extended period of time. Therefore, automatons connected to the base network recognize it as a Fragmentum creature. This is a minor issue that can be resolved by replacing components. Do not worry. I see. Has Mr. Svarog ever witnessed a similar incident anywhere in the network? No. Network-connected automatons regularly clear out muddled information in their core modules. The likelihood of a robot gaining sentience beyond control is approximately 0.12%. For those that aren't connected to the network, the chance climbs to 3.23%. Please keep in mind that these probabilities are only estimates. Over the past 700 years, this has never happened in the underworld. Hmm. Aber die Roboter hier kommen mir ziemlich intelligent vor. To make life easier for users, all of Bellabog's automatons contain language simulation abilities. They generate appropriate responses by reading preset parameters and mimicking natural human conversations. This, however, is only a simulation, and it does not mean that the automatons have actual emotional intelligence. But Mr. Svarog is different. Given that automatons can still develop emotion modules using their own processing power, I have a backup plan in place. Mr. Svarog always takes all factors into account and handles problems logically. I can't do that myself yet. So, what should we do with Pascal? It is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. I will maintain the robot's core module and repair its hardware once it has been integrated into the base network. There is a greater than 97.2% chance that this robot will return to normal after the bad sectors and muddled information are removed. However... Okay... Aber was ist mit Pascals emotionaler Intelligenz? Once the formatting is complete, the robot's emotional intelligence will vanish. <sighs> is there no other option? This option minimizes both internal and external losses. Although Clara's account indicates that the robot is relatively stable, the assessment based on the computations shows that both the risk of Pascal crashing and the amount of muddled information are increasing when it approaches 100%. I understand. But I don't think I'm ready to give up on Pascal just yet. We've helped Pascal find compatible hardware. If we can eliminate the muddled information without damaging the sectors linked to his emotional intelligence? You know the chances of that are incredibly low, Clara. Hmm. Wie entfernt man Informationsrauschen? There's only one way to completely remove muddled information. Overwriting. When the muddled information is removed, the base network will create a comprehensive backup and overwrite the data stored in the corresponding sector. Uh, maybe there's another way. 
We can install a lock in Pascal's core. Clear the redundant data and locate the core sectors that are still intact. Then we can install a, a new suite of operational programs. This suite of programs can regulate Pascal's behavior and prevent him from hurting people. With this method, we might be able to retain as much of Pascal's emotional intelligence as possible while keeping him out of trouble. If we can keep Pascal's emotional intelligence, I might be able to teach him to treat people with kindness. What do you think, Mr. Sparag? This procedure is theoretically viable, but there are risks. It will not eliminate the muddled information. Additionally, the newly installed programs may be later contaminated by it. In other words, because we cannot monitor the robot outside of the network, this approach can only guarantee Pascal's stability for a brief period of time. The probability of the robot crashing again is around. And if that happens, I'll do it again. And if it happens again, I'll go through the exact same steps. I'll guide him and fix him. No matter how many times it happens, I'll be there to help Pascal. But he will forget about you, Clara. He will repeatedly forget you, as well as all the emotions and memories he has previously accumulated. His limited storage capacity will eventually become completely overwritten by infinite copies of muddled information in an everlasting cycle. Clara, the challenge will be tougher than you can possibly imagine. Are you sure this is the path you want to take? <laughs> there, there, Clara. There's no need to rush to a conclusion. The variable in Bellabog's fate is still here. Perhaps he can suggest the best solution. Okay. I... I trust your judgment. We trust your decision. Äh, ja okay, von Technik habe ich allerdings noch weniger Ahnung. Both have provided their solutions. Svarog thinks that formatting Pascal's data and integrating him into the base's network is necessary. But doing so will deprive Pascal of his special emotional intelligence. Although it may sound cruel, this approach best prevents Pascal from posing a threat. Clara thinks she can use programming to control Pascal's behavior and prevent him from causing harm while keeping his emotional intelligence intact. However, this doesn't address the root of the issue, and it also requires Clara to devote much time and effort to Pascal. Although Clara will use Pascal's emotional intelligence to help guide him in the right direction, Pascal could still go out of control in the future. In addition, Pascal has a history of stealing, even though he never caused any harm to anyone. This is also a major concern. What is most important here? I need to think carefully and choose one solution, then persuade the other person. Ja, okay, überzeugt. Clara ist zwar auch davon im Plan, der anderen Person zu übernehmen und das Schicksal von Pascal zu entscheiden. Okay. Clara proposed that you should choose outsider. I respect her wish. Have you made a decision about how to handle Pascal? Hast du Claras Idee in Betracht gezogen? I had anticipated this possibility. Tell me what you think. Pascal ist sehr ähnlich, oder? I understand. You believe that Pascal's emotional intelligence, derived from his own computational power, is no different from mine. I am currently still unable to conduct a thorough analysis of human empathy. However, I recognize the importance of respecting such emotions. Clara believes in you as a variable. Either way, your input will be taken into account. I'll keep gathering information and calculating new possibilities. Do you have any other insights, outsider? Mm -hmm. 
Naja, du meintest, du würdest versuchen, Claras Wunsch wahr werden zu lassen. People Claras Age do not usually take on overwhelming social responsibilities. To ensure that Clara grows up well, I've always avoided overburdening her. But if Clara insists on taking on such responsibilities, then I have no right to object. There's no need to discuss this any further. If you insist on using Clara's solution, the Svarag base network will completely support you. My choice will have a direct impact on the outcome. I should mull it over. Okay, wir sollten Claras Lösung umsetzen. Pascal, we're back. Pascal, good. Waiting. Waiting. Further instructions. Now, please be a good boy and don't move. Pascal, we've got Mr. Svarg to help treat your illness. He'll help you recover. Illness? What is illness? But Pascal not move? Recover! How? Mr. Svarog, let's get started. Understood. The protective programs are ready for installation. I hope I made the right decision. Is it done? The programs were successfully installed. The robot will require offline maintenance and will be unable to communicate for some time. We can return to it later. I see. In that case, let's go back to the base. I think it's over. I'll check in with Clara later to see what's up. So, ich bin auf das Ergebnis gespannt. Clara und die Sonne Trophäe erhalten Besuche Verifizierung Clara. Ja, okay. Okay, es ist aber immer noch keine Antwort. Es ist also immer noch keine Antwort auf unsere Frage jetzt hier. Okay, jetzt aber. Fände mal, dass du jetzt Zeit, ich möchte über Pascal reden. Okay, worum möcht worüber möchtest du reden? Tatsächlich habe ich viel darüber nachgedacht. Ich verstehe nicht, was Pascal? Andere Roboter halten Pascal für eine Schöpfung des Fragmentums. Herr Swarok hält Pascal für einen normalen Roboter. Nicht einmal Pascal selbst weiß, was er ist. Ich glaube, Pascal könnte sogar ein Mensch sein. Fällt mal, was meinst du? Tja, von den Gefühlen her, er ist ein Mensch. Pascal ist ein lebendiger Mensch. Findest du Phantom Art? Das denke ich auch, aber... Fragmentum, Kreatur, Roboter, Mensch. Worunter unterscheiden sie sich? Einige Fragmentum, Kreaturen können sprechen und sich wie Menschen verhalten. Herr Swarok sieht zwar aus wie ein Roboter, aber er kann auch sprechen, denken und sogar Fü Gefühle ausdrücken wie wir. Wie können wir also definieren, was wir und was sie sind? Tja, schwierige Frage. Es gibt keinen Unterschied? Es gibt keinen Unterschied zwischen Menschen und anderen Lebewesen auf der Welt. Emotional erklären. Wir sind aus demselben Universum hervorgegangen und wir steuern auf dasselbe Ende zu. So ist das also. Das klingt kompliziert, aber ich werde versuchen, es zu verstehen. Ich fühle mich nicht mehr so verloren. Danke, Phantom Art. Äh, ja, wollen wir jetzt erst noch mal kurz zurück nach Nietzstadt? Ich würde eigentlich mal ja sagen. Es ist ja immerhin immer noch nicht das Ende. Ne, es ist immer noch nicht das Ende, was wir jetzt... Ah, große Schwester, hast du mich im Stich gelassen? Oh, das ist ja, sagt die Fortsetzung der Natascha-Begleitermission. 
das muss sein. Das ist jetzt die Fortsetzung der Natascha-Mission. Ah, okay, wir haben hier kein Ende. Das ist jetzt irgendwie eigenartig. Hat der sagt diese Quest wirklich kein Ende? Ha. Huh. Tja, was soll ich dazu sagen? Anscheinend hat er gesagt, diese Quest noch kein richtiges Ende, würde ich mal sagen. Na gut, aber wir haben es jetzt auf jeden Fall abgeschlossen. Die, die Quest von Clara. Haben jetzt, er sagt, sowieso noch ein bisschen Stellariade gekriegt. Und ja, das nächste, was wir jetzt erstmal tun werden... Ist ja er auch erstmal etwas, was wir schon seit längerer Zeit nicht mehr gemacht haben. Und was uns ja auch noch ein bisschen Jade einbringen könnte. Es geht wieder zurück zu einer ganz bestimmten Universensimulation.